guys, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you a few different ways that I wrap my stomach for pelvic support, diastasis recti support, back pain, hip pain, and more. the three different items I'm going to be using today to show you guys how I use them for support are a ring sling, a long woven wrap, and a short woven wrap. I'm going to start with the basic ring sling. These are so readily available. I act, um, this is just a Maya wrap I had gotten. I had gotten it from like a local yard sale or something and it was like a, it was a really old version. It was a, a natural color. I dyed it so it'd be kind of like galaxy looking and I took off the little pocket that was on the end. So if you're not familiar with threading a ring sling and it's not together, it will look like this and just open. So you're gonna take the tails together. You can be more meticulous about this. I'm not very meticulous about it. And you put it through the rings and you're gonna make sure that it's spaced out. You put it through the rings and then you open up the rings and you put it back through over that top ring and then through that second ring. You're gonna make sure this is really spaced out so you have an easy time tightening it on your stomach, especially when it's around your stomach, not just for your baby. Obviously when it's going around your actual baby, you are a little bit picky, more picky about this. So you have the wrap like this. I'm gonna tighten my bit because I just I know that this is gonna to be too loose. Okay, so what I do around my belly is I put the ring sling around me and I spread it out. So depending where I'm having pain, if I'm having belly pain, I want this, the wide part of the wrap and not the rings around my whole belly area and especially underneath, underneath my belly. So I am gonna start out with it a little bit over here and I'm gonna start pulling the fabric on the ring slings like this and just start pulling to tighten. I'm gonna pull the top rail and the bottom rail and I'm just gonna start tightening it. And if you can see how this is kind of landing like over here on my hip, this gives me lots of support. So you can see that this top area is really loose. So I'm gonna pull it from the back and then I'm gonna come over here, pull it around and I'm gonna take the top rail and follow it and pull that same area on the sling. And you're going to keep pulling all the slack out. Okay, so at this point, it's pretty much good for my tightness. And as you can see, it just kind of wraps around my belly nice and tight. This is really helpful for my muscle separation of my stomach. My stomach will feel really heavy by the end of the day. A lot of times when I'm doing things around my house, my stomach will feel really heavy and I just need some support to almost like hold my belly up. And this just works absolutely amazing for giving me some support. And, and you can take the tail and bring it around and just tuck it in the top. And then it just looks like this. So it's just a sling for your belly. Next is how you can support your hips. So when I support my hips, I pull it like this and I spread this out across my bum. You really want it to go past, like this is your tailbone, you want it to go past on, onto your butt cheeks and over your hip bones. And then I don't personally mind the rings right here, especially because you want them like under your belly and you want this part up higher. So I'm gonna just start off a little off center and just start tightening it. Okay, and for me, this is personally not uncomfortable. I do know that some people, the ring would bother them, but I personally don't do it tight enough where it does bother me. And if this is just if I just have the ring sling on me. Normally, I would just prefer to have uh, actual woven wrap on me, but this does help for hip support, absolutely. You could also, if one of your hips is bothering you more than the other, 
you could offset the rings a bit to give that hip more support but the problem with this is you don't want to support one hip more than the other you really want them to be nice and even next I am gonna go ahead and show you how I use a short wrap to support my belly so you can take the middle of the wrap where your tag is and place it around in the middle of your back Basically, we're going to do the same concept as we do with the ring sling, but I'm going to put one side like this and one side like this. And obviously, you're going to pull them down onto your actual stomach and not on your breasts. And this, you can tighten by pulling the rails and coming around your hips. And then I'm going to tie this in the back after I get it nice and tight. Okay, this is one way, and then you can just re spread out the panels and re tighten as needed. And having a short wrap is definitely, it gives you full support over your whole abdomen and your whole back. You could tie this in a double knot if you need. You're gonna take the tag, put it in front, wrap around, like pull together, not have it down to your knees. <laughs> I'm going to pull it and I'm going to tie it under belly because that's just what feels better for me and it gives me more support. Okay, and this feels amazing on my back. Okay, if you want more belly support, you're going to want that middle marker on your back. And if you want more back support, you're going to want the middle marker in the front. So right now, this feels so good around my lower back. It feels so supportive. And I mean, it might look kind of funny, but personally, I like the way it looks. And you can also tie above belly like this if underbelly hurts. But for me personally, because my stomach is up here, it just doesn't feel that great. But with a short wrap, you can also tie off center if you just want it like on your hip or something, depending how short your wrap is. Yep. So essentially with your hips, you're gonna do the exact same thing. So depending if you need frontal support for your pelvis area or if you're, it's just your whole pubic bone, I'm gonna keep this tag in the front because normally that's where I feel the pain. I'm gonna get this a little scrunched up and put it just underneath my belly and around my hips and my butt area. And then I'm gonna do the same thing where I tighten it. Now this is gonna feel so weird on your butt cheeks, but you're gonna wanna make sure it's decently spread over them. So let me see if I can show you guys. I'm literally pulling this down over my butt cheeks. Hopefully you can see it. And then I'm gonna take it and tighten it again, nice and tight, and then just tie in the front. Now this works really good for anyone who has SPD in their hips, which is symphysis pubic dysfunction. It really gives you amazing support along your hips and your butt area. A lot of people who experience symphysis pubic dysfunction experience a lot of butt pain too in their piriformis, and this feels amazing i wear it along my hips all the time I, my short wrap is my favorite usually i'll double knot it so it doesn't become loose because this is just one of those areas where you want it to be nice and tight and it feels so good especially if it's spread nice next i'm going to show you guys with my long wrap what i like to do so there are quite a few different ways you can use a long wrap to wrap your belly i'm going to show you is by keeping the, the middle marker right in front across your belly you are gonna wrap it around the back, keeping the rails even, and pulling up across your chest like this. If you're familiar with wrapping a baby, essentially it's pretty much the same thing. You really just wanna wrap your belly for support instead of wrapping your baby for, with a, a prop, appropriate support. I'm gonna take one side, go that way and this way, and 
essentially you're going to be making like a sweetheart neckline across your breasts and you're going to pull like this and then I'm just going to tie in back really quick and then readjust and then tighten just because that's what's easier for me. At this point in pregnancy I cannot really pull them back to the front to tie them in the front. This is tying with a long wrap. This has like a sweetheart neckline. This gives you kind of like full panel back support and full front support, especially if your breasts are heavy. It definitely helps. Long wrap, because you can wrap it more times, can definitely give you some more support. If you wanted to, you could twist behind your back and tie again in front, depending what size wrap you have. This is a size six, so it's getting pretty snug when I wrap it around my belly like that now, but this is my favorite way to wrap with a long wrap. Okay, last off, I'm gonna show you um, another way you can wear your belly. If you only just have something like a Moby wrap or a Boba wrap or, or any kind of stretchy wrap. So this is a Moby. I'm gonna put the tag right in front in the middle of my belly. I'm gonna gather the sides and get them behind me. I'm gonna take these two rails and I'm going to cross them over each other and then pull them up over my shoulders. Okay, next I'm just going to pull to tighten and I'm going to keep one rail between my knees and I'm going to take the other one, make sure it gets opened and I'm going to open it across my back and around my belly. And I'm just going to keep it open for now and then put it between my knees. I'm gonna do the same thing with this rail, cross my back, start getting it open and I'm gonna cross over my belly. So what I'm gonna do now that they're both in front, I'm gonna keep them spread across my belly and then I'm gonna, if I can do it, I'm gonna tighten a little bit more, there we go. Make sure they're nice and open. And I'm gonna tie them behind me. Now I'm just gonna spread some of the rails. I'm personally not a stretchy wrap fan, but this does feel really good. It, it definitely, if you can see, it pushed my belly in a lot. Hello. 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 It's offering a lot of support. This is what it looks like from the back. I don't have much hands. My belly is pretty good at this point to tie, but it does have some nice, support especially for the back it's giving me like really good posture right now okay guys well those were my favorite ways to wrap my belly for support for my diastasis recti for my spd in my hips and for lower back pain and sciatica thank you guys so much for watching bye